was my first day owning a drone ever. I had never turned on a drone. I'd never owned a drone. I'd never flown a drone. Uh, I never did anything with a drone because I wasn't sure if I wanted to or if I didn't. And honestly, I'm so happy that I waited so that my first drone was the Mini Air 3 because this sucker, I am so happy that this is the one that I started with. So much so, today I'm even gonna be taking out the uh, Fly More kit, which instead of 24 minute batteries that come with, it's either 43 or 45 minute batteries. So I'm gonna pack up and let's make sure that we have everything. So first up are definitely the extra batteries. So let's put those in there. As you can see, I've already got my drone in, got my card already slotted from the dump from yesterday. And of course, the uh, controller with the screen built in. So let's just make sure that that goes in nice and snug and zip this up and let's go. Mm. Boom. All right, so now I am out at, uh, I'm on one of the trails above Griffith Park. I didn't see any signs specifically saying no drones were allowed or that there would be a fine for any of that. So <laughs> let's go. was good for the Griffith Park Observatory. So let's go surprise you for the next one. Ready? Let's go. Well, I am now at the uh, parking lot next to the Greek Theater. And guess what? I don't see any signs saying no drones here either. There are plenty of signs to keep your damn dog on a leash, but none. Let's say I can't do a drone here. So let's get at it. But before I actually start recording, what I am gonna do is take the remainder of the ultra lightweight battery, the 25, 23 minute battery. And I'm just gonna scope out. I've never actually been here, so I don't know what it looks like. And then I'll do some recording on some of the larger batteries. You ready? Let's go. And starting with the quick shot, circle. Of course, gotta make a good one. There it is. I see it. It's kind of hard to find sometimes. Okay, so that's it. I'm packed up for the day. Time to head back. Even though I didn't even go into my third battery, that's okay. It's not always about using all your power. Sometimes just about getting the right shots. So I'll see you guys back in the studio. Okay, so we're back. One of the best parts about a, you know, fly more kit or anything of like multi battery kind of like extra options. Uh, Insta360 has one and so does DJI. Taking a single USB-C, plugging it in and all three are going to power. One of them is gonna power by itself. See, there we go. One of them is already full because I didn't use that one. The other one's charging right now. So let's put that down and maybe get the other battery as well. And I'm also going to dump the footage. Got my little, whoa, card reader right here. That little tiny SD card out of the slot right there. And now, time to insert to the computer. Kind of completely forgot to put my uh, backdrop down, so one second. Bet you want to know how I did that with the uh, 600D back there, huh? Maybe another video. Okay, so first week thoughts with the DJI Mini 3 Pro. 
Uh, it's super easy to use. Like I said, this was literally the second day I've ever really taken it out, flown it, put it through the works, batteries, everything. Did vertical, did horizontal. You guys saw some of the footage. Tested it around terrain. I tested the ease of use of, you know, manipulability and how easy it was to get in and out of trees, tiny areas, that kind of stuff, even with the sensors, you know, kind of blocking your movement sometimes. This sucker is almost too easy to use. It makes me want to go be a drone operator. So I actually think I'm gonna spend the next couple weeks and really putting this in the works of a normal workflow, adding onto my camera and everything else. And I've got a couple car events coming up. Those are gonna be great spots to uh, try this out in and really see how usable this little sucker is. I may even need to get more of the like 45 minute batteries, the larger ones, if I wanna be a drone op with this one specifically, because you know, these three batteries, the, the small one and then the two bigger ones, they're great. But I feel like if I'm actually like a drone op doing this all day, I'm gonna need a lot more of those bigger batteries. Also, I think I may need to go through those like FAA rules and everything like that, because I'm going based off of the signage everywhere, and the fly more map to let me know what areas I can't even start the damn thing in. And those help, but those aren't all the rules. If this is the first video on my channel that you have watched, please do not subscribe. Only subscribe if you keep coming back to the channel because that tells you and me that what I'm giving you, you enjoy. So if this is your second, third, 12th time, hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, maybe see you on the next one, maybe not. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Take care.